Hi, I'm Johan Martinson. I would like to share um, a trick or two about simplifying conditional logic. Here's a, a really ugly piece of code from the Gilded Rose Kata with some particularly complex uh, conditional logic. Um, <coughs> the main trick uh, is best shown by uh, exposing the problem. Here's a piece of business logic. We increment quality up until 50 and never above. We can extract that quality to a method, but it doesn't encapsulate all of that incrementation logic. Uh, this is the same piece of logic and it didn't get encapsulated in the method I extracted. So we'll have to think of something more intricate. And this is where the trick comes in. I can remove this if statement. If I add the clause to around every in underlying instruction. Like so. Now, let's remove it. And this is equivalent code. By the way, the tests tell me that that is so. Now here's uh, the same if statement twice. I can remove one of them. And I can extract this too. And this time, this part gets extracted. The next part of this method is this piece. Why do I go? Why do I go here? It's only because the this is the most indented piece of logic, and I always restart my refactorings uh, from the right. Here's uh, how we decrement quality. We only do it if the quality is above zero, so it never goes below. Only thing in the middle here, we've got uh, a statement about, or condition, about the name. Now that's a bummer, because if we want to extract quality into, a, say, an object, uh, then we'd have to bring along the name of the object, which is undesirable. So let's see if we cannot group together all the quality related stuff uh, without uh, being concerned about the name. Remember the trick. Uh, we can remove this if statement if we add it to every underlying, around every underlying statement. like so. Now all the quality related stuff is grouped together. We've got the same thing here. Actually the thing we want to do here is just invert the order of the if statements and Eclipse has got a automated refactoring for that. Now let's extract that. Nice. There's one piece of quality related stuff left here. And it's zero, by the way. Drop quality. Okay, so now it's better, but it definitely is not a simple method. The other aspect of simplifying conditional logic is uh, to remove this kind of inverted logic. Now let's do that. Invert. And we also want to keep simple if conditions. We don't want to combine two if conditions into one if statement. So let's split that one. Now that basically duplicates all the code. It's not a problem because we can expand to contract better. In particular here we are aged pre, so we can't be a backstage pass, right? And here 
we are in backstage pass so we s I mean we are in backstage pass okay <coughs> and now we've got some inverted logic I can't invert this if statement because there is no else block yet so I add one and then I invert it here is um, something that I don't want. I don't want several levels of uh, conditional logic. I want to flatten it if possible. And I can do this automatically. Okay, and now I'm almost finished with this part here. I've got this section here which handles decrementing cell in decrease cell in it's got inverted logic okay decrease cell in uh, I do that in the case of H3 backstage pass not in the case of sulfurous but I do it in every other case so let's move this statement up to this conditional logic and so so that works the tests tell me so I can remove that conditional logic and it's yet a bit better now lastly we've got this piece of this part of the method that has still has some inverted logic Add else block, invert. And we flatten it. Okay, this is nice. It's basically the same clauses as above H3, backstage pass, sulfurous. So we could group these statements with the statements above if we could get rid of this. Remember, we can get rid of an if statement if we add it around every underlying statement. Now, I can remove it. Tests are green. So this aged pre stuff, I can move it up to the aged pre stuff above and this backstage stuff now up there and this sort of uh, other stuff I can move it up here and this uh, clause does nothing okay now it's um, definitely a bit better uh, this is simpler quite readable and we haven't got much code here either we're not finished because basically we have got some kind of different types of items here so we would want to extract this update logic into one strategy and this to another strategy and this to yet another strategy and then we'd have kind of a null strategy here or we could subclass items so that every subclass could contain the um, the particular uh, update logic that uh, could implement that update logic but that's uh, an issue for another screencast let's just finish by making these equal statements a bit safer and more readable alright thank you for listening <laughs>